in the fourth round between giri and kalson kalson won all the three games so it's basically a mini match of four games and uh, kalson just finished it off in three games it all started with this uh, a little bit unsound sacrifice in game 1 by anish anish gave up a pawn and in return he has got some sort of initiative so this position is already slightly bad he plays queen d6 threatening nothing actually this is just the pawn that's attacked kalson calmly plays knight f8 and now giri sacrificed a piece this is the unsound sacrifice i'm talking about bishop takes c4 pawn takes knight e3 just to get the knight in at the cost of two pawns kalson was already up a pawn now he's three pawns up so all he has to do is defend and he did defend knight c4 he gets one pawn if queen takes the knight takes back and you have some you have enough compensation right but king f7 pawn d5 so anish has to go all in he is opening up lines towards the king knight d8 kalson just calmly defends takes and knight takes and here knight e5 check king f6 and knight d7 the problem for anish is the knight is now kind of trapped the king went to f7 the queen's attacked of course you can't exchange queens you're a piece down you have full piece down right now queen d5 rook e8 rook d1 and king g7 the king gets out of any knight checks pawn g4 now anish is desperate kalson just calmly pushes a pawn a5 knight f7 now he reroutes his pieces to good squares and this knight is going to get uh, in trouble rook e1 and rook d8 it's attacked two times defended two times h4 and then just f3 kalson turns the tables here he is now threatening queen g3 and then f2 actually queen g3 and then queen g2 and if you take the pawn you lose the piece you will be two pieces down so after pawn f3 and he's just resigned so this game just uh, set the table for the match it was an unsound sack and uh, giri just collapsed after that when kalson defended the second game was a grenfeld by anish anish giri played the grenfeld and we have a typical position where white are the sender but black has attacked it from different sides and white's holding on here c takes c takes and queen takes bishop takes so giri took the pawn but of course kalson gets compensation and here rook c8 was played this was a slight mistake anish should have played rook d8 because then after rook take b7 you have rook d7 and the rook will be exchanged off so anish allowed the rook to thrive over there he played rook c8 rook takes e7 rook c2 he will get the a2 pawn but white's rook stays there bishop f4 rook takes and pawn e5 cutting off this bishop from the defense of the king king f8 by anish rook b7 and now rook e8 but then came bishop d1 and now anish would feel the pressure of the position because bishop b3 is coming and that's a big threat you can't really play rook 2 e7 because bishop h6 check this wouldn't be so comfortable rook b8 king d7 i suppose bishop g4 or rook b7 rook b7 king e8 sorry bishop g4 check let's say king goes to c and now rook h8 h8 is possible that looks good you get the h pawn and if bishop takes rook c1 check and white pieces are all active so white has a good position here so instead after bishop d1 even rook b2 so the correct move should have been rook a3 stopping bishop b3 that way the problem with rook b2 we will see bishop c1 the rook is almost trapped over here rook b1 allows rook bishop c2 that's what happened and uh, this square there is bishop a3 and then after rook b1 bishop c2 the only square available is rook b5 because rook a1 allows bishop check king moves and then exchange and we have bishop b3 and rook e7 is not no longer there rook f8 is no longer there so this gone so that is why he played rook b5 not rook a1 and now after rook b5 bishop h6 king moves and then came bishop a4 taking advantage of the pin so kalson won an exchange here knight takes rook takes and then he converted this rook b7 rook e1 
A4. Anish tries to get the A pawn running, but it's not enough because rook f3 and now f7 is hanging. And if you play rook f8, it's totally passive. Just uh, rook a7 or even a normal move like uh, g3 getting the king up is enough. The pawn cannot move forward and the knight is just uh, unsure what to do. So after rook f3, Anish resigned and Carlsen had a 2-0 lead in the match. Now comes the third game. In the third game of the match, Anish Giri played knight e5. If you look at the position, it looks like black is playing for the win. But black just needs a draw. Carson just needs a draw. And here after knight takes, this was a Sicilian defense. Anish made a big uh, positional mistake. He took with the d pawn. The problem with that is all endgames would be lost because there's a connected pass pawn over here on the d file for black. So he should have taken with the rook. But he took with the pawn. And now bishop b5, pawn b3 and queen g5. Carlsen senses his chance here. He just wants to go to the endgame and easily convert it. Queen b4, not going for the endgame. But then rook comes in, rook c2. And now after a4 came this very nice sacrifice. The icing on the cake for Carlsen. After having won the first two games, the, he wins the third game in style. He plays knight g3, a very nice tactical sack. Because if you take the bishop, which is what happened, the rook comes in. And if you take the knight, same thing will happen, rook f2. And along with the queen it would be just all over for the white king. So a to b5, taking the bishop, rook and f2. And here, knight e2 was played. Of course, if you take the piece, you will be mated. Rook takes, king moves and mate. Or if king moves, then mate. So knight e2 was played. And then just rook and e2. Just winning the piece. Rook takes and knight e2. Here, there is nothing to do. It, it, he wins the piece back. So now, after takes, takes, it's basically two points up for Carson. Rook c1. Queen e1. Takes, takes, and queen c1. And here Anish resigned because it's a lost endgame. It's two points up for Carlsen. Carlsen won the match 3-0 against his old Twitter rival, Anish Giri. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video and please subscribe to my channel for more such content.